Now for some of the big stories crisscrossing the detours in my mind and the internet, it is the buzz. Taylor Swift performed at UVA, and look what the Cavs men hoops Twitter feed tweeted out. There they are. I'm starting a baseless rumor. Joey Hoops is her new famous crush, following in the footsteps of Joe Jonas, John Mayer, Harry Styles. Who's your famous crush, CP? Man, I had a few famous crushes. You know, I had uh, Alicia Keys, Sanai Lathan, uh, Tara Banks, Lisa Ray. Where do I stop? All fine choices. We've oh. also seen, you know, recently <laughs> Coach K talking about his crush on Beyonce. Now, I was surprised by this, but T Swift is a huge ACC fan. At the concert, she performed such classics as I knew the Who's had trouble in the backcourt. It's a love story, Jameis, just say yes. I wish Joe Harris wore number 22. And my favorite, Maryland, we are never, ever getting back together. Is that your singing voice? <laughs> Miami facing Savannah State, a struggling FCS school. This should not be a problem. One thing that won't separate these schools, the coaches dress exactly the same. Al Golden, of course, known for the white shirt and orange tie. And Savannah State's Ernest Wilson has the same look. I think it's great to pay homage. I think it's an appreciation. But after the spanking they're going to get this weekend, I doubt if he has anything positive to say about Coach Golden. Now, Al Golden even inspired us to go with the white shirt and orange tie look. That's us. Clinton Portis and Jeff Shell. There we are. <laughs> Why did they have to put me on the bad body side? Uh, Tell me that. <laughs> I, I think we look like twins. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> A really interesting conference matchup Saturday, Georgia Tech and North Carolina. We know Tar Heels coach Larry Fedora will be amped because he always is. He's always walking around with an energy drink, and we finally know exactly how many energy drinks he has a day. He told Andrew Carter of the News and Observer, yes, nine Red Bulls a day. I guess this can explain why the UNC offense is so sped up. When you look at Coach Fedora on, on Red Bulls, he's amped up. He plays. It shows in the pace of, uh, of his offense. It sure does. We put an ISO cam on Fedora on the sidelines. Look how amped <laughs> up he is. Look how quick he's moving around up and down the sideline. That's the play call. Now take off. Get it in. Go. I think go, that's after go. Red Bull number seven. <laughs> And he still has a couple more just to finish things off of the day. I would love to see him after the game is over. <laughs> uh, I tried to do some math from what I could figure. Nine Red Bulls. That's about the same. As much caffeine as six or seven cups of coffee and as much sugar as a six-pack of Coke. He says that's only during football season. But, again, when we've seen him in the offseason, he still has a Red Bull in his hand at all times. North Carolina and Virginia Tech are both honoring the military Saturday. Check out the Hokies military appreciation uniforms. Andy Bitter tweeted out the picture. So I'll ask what he asked. Do you like them? Yeah, or nay? Nay. Nay? Nay. I think it's exciting to get new uniforms. I mean, for the players, for the school, for the fans. I think it's exciting, but those are hideous. <laughs> <laughs> now, Logan Thomas had a similar feeling last year with these helmets they wore for the whiteout. What do you think of those? I actually love the turkey. Uh, the I turkey actually feet? love those. You know, <laughs> I like that helmet uh, more than I like the, the tribute. All so. right. So, again, Logan Thomas, I remember last year him tweeting out that he was not a fan, and several other players kind of chimed in, and I think they were told to, to, to quiet it down a little bit. Well, I think that's what matters. I think when you when you look good, you play good. So if the players don't feel good about it, then you got to do away with it. All right, so hopefully they, they look good and feel good this week, and that is the buzz. 